Hi dear friends, how are you doing? Okay, this session I'm going to speak about last tense of English passive voices. Okay, this is the last one but surely not the least. Listen to that one. Today I'm going to speak about future past and perfect tense. What do I mean by that one? I mean, you have to use this formula, would have plus past participle, okay? It shows future past, and because you use have past participle, it means that one is perfect. So, how can I turn a sentence into a passive voice? That is so simple. It's about 10 sessions. I will speak about these rules. As you know, there are 16 tenses in English, but just 10 of them uh, have got um, passive voices. So 6 of them, you cannot uh, make passive voices with 6 uh, different tenses. Okay, let's just start. As I told you, the subject is not important in passive sentences because of that i put the subject at the end of the sentence and the use of that is optional i will put the object at the beginning then the most important part is verb how can i change a verb into a passive voice a very very famous formula to be plus past participle you have to stick that one into your mind okay so I cannot change would have because would have shows your sentence tense. So you cannot change that one. You have to put that one in exactly in the same uh, form uh, into passive sentence. Then to be form. I have to select or choose a to be form, a suitable to be form for this tense and for this sentence. Because this sentence is perfect, so I have to use just third part of to be word. Third part of to be word is been. So I use been. And passive, the last one is um, verb three, I mean past participle. So I have to use written. So have, would have been written is the passive form of this word would have written okay it's somehow challenging and sometimes even though you learn that one but when you want to use that one or when you want to just recognize that one in some um, you know example or some test maybe that will be a little bit difficult so practice more and try to learn that one logically okay so this part shows the tense this part just follows the rule the formula and uh, practice more and more if you really want to learn uh, the passive voices of uh, english language okay write some sentences to me and uh, try to uh, use uh, these voices when you speak Okay, this was the last session of uh, passive voices. Have fun, everyone.